Hey guys, Mazda 2284 here. Uh, I got a new package today. Uh, when, it, when it got dropped off, um, I heard the solid bump or crash or whatever at the other end of the house. I'm like, what is that? So I go run into the other end of the house because I mean, it was loud. And I open the door and here's sitting my box. And I go outside and go around the corner and see a FedEx truck sitting down in my driveway. I'm, so I yelled at the guy. I'm like, hey, what the hell? Just drop my shit? Like, and he's like, oh, I just set it there. I'm like, what the fuck ever? Because, I mean, it was loud. Like, dude had to, like, throw it on my fucking porch. So I, I'm kind of pissed about that. And, I mean, all us car audio guys know, like, dealing with shipping really sucks. So, hopefully, everything's all good. Usually, companies do a really good job of packing and whatever to try and prevent uh, damage in shipping. But, if you work for a shipping company and you don't like what you do and you're just throwing packages... Find a different job. Find something you like to do. Because, like, it it's just bad. All around. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video here. Like I said, hopefully everything's all good. I've had subwoofers damaged in the past, and... Some of them, like, if it's a rare subwoofer, what are you going to do? Like, you can get your money back from the shipping company, but you can't replace the subwoofer. So, what we got here, we got a sticker. Dark Audio Industry sticker. And you can tell it's been dropped on this quite a few times. Good thing that this is in there because that's obviously taking a lot of impact from shitty shippers. shift or anything like that good nice good deal so this subwoofer right now until May 19th it's on sale it's only $64 shipped uh, it's a 8 inch dark audio NKO So, on the box you can see it's 16 pounds, 15 pounds, um, 400 watt RMS rated, this is dual 4 ohm, and yeah, so, get you guys a little close up here. See the back plate, you have the pole vent, coil venting, really nice venting on the basket. This is a stamped steel basket, but it's really thick, really strong. Um, the spiders are bolted down. You can see the bolts all around there. Nice push terminals. Uh, single. Um, 
long wire leads. Really stiff, really stiff uh, cone. Dust cap's nice and stiff. It's not, not crinkling when I push on it. So, yeah, it's built really nice. It'd be hard for you guys to see, but it has black ceramic coated voice coil, which really helps with this dissipation of uh, heat and the coils hold up really, really well. It's got a uh, black aluminum voice coil former. Oops. Bring the camera up here so you guys can see. This I can show coil. Uh, not really, because it's black. It's really, really hard to tell. But it's not burnt. It just comes like that. So for sixty-three bucks, this is a hell of a deal. And they make these in uh, eight, ten, twelve inch. I think they have a 15 inch coming out soon but normally they're like 80 bucks or 85 somewhere in there and even for that price this is a really nice sub <clears throat> um, typically I use a bigger sub in my vehicles but I mean even for like a home audio sub or uh, one thing I really like to do with eights is computer subwoofers like Dayton makes these 2.1 amplifiers so you get yourself like a pair of component speakers build some nice little bookshelves you know style boxes for those and run those for your desktop speakers and then get a subwoofer like this build a nice low tuned ported box and put that under your desk man it makes for one really nice computer system so but yeah i'm going to be doing some testing in the car with this i'm going to you know do a bunch of different stuff with it Figured for the price, couldn't pass it up. Worth trying out. I'm actually really happy I got one. And I've used the NKO uh, 12s in a whole bunch of builds. Done a bunch of testing with those. Absolutely love them. So the 8 was like, yeah, I gotta try it out. But thanks for watching. And like I said, if you can, right now they're on sale. 64 bucks a piece get yourself one also these headways are on sale on ebay um, battery hookup or alarm hookup on ebay if you want to get into lithium and like just to get an idea this right here is like a hundred dollars and four cells makes a eight amp hour 12.8 volt battery and they'll take up to 80 amps max charge so if you get yourself two banks of them you can 160 amps of charge on these and they'll take it just fine well just peak charge so if you have a stock alternator and you want to get in the lithium you can mix these with AGM and it's a great way to just get into it and see how it performs and once you try it um, you'll you'll fall in love so give it a shot and like i run the yinlongs in my tahoe love these cells so but 
I run these in the NVX RAM and absolutely love them. But anyways, thanks for watching and enjoy the videos. Um, oh yeah, another thing. I changed some of my lighting. The last video that I did, there's like a really loud, annoying buzz at the beginning of the video. And I think it was from running these fluorescent bulbs. So I changed over to some LEDs. So hopefully the buzzing isn't so bad for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned and I'll be doing some more videos.